What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and this would be lesson number 15 of our 3D Studio Max. And it seems that I was, uh, well, basically, the Clip Reaper had not provided enough information in his last question, which would be our lesson number 14. What he was wanting to do was actually assign a different material to each side of a polygon. So you got the front and you got the back face. And so let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's come over here and let's click on, tag on it, box. Go ahead and create ourselves a box here. Bring it to about there, that looks good. Selection tool, select here. Perspective view, let's come over. Let's uh, right click, convert to edible poly, select the Polygon, select the top, delete it, and thank you, Avast. Anyway, so we got our top deleted. We do not want to see it. And so what we want to do is that we want to have a different material on the front as well as a different material on the back part as well. And so let's go ahead and do that uh, with the two uh, selections selected. Click on the material editor, and from here, let's go to the double sided inside the standard. Choose double sided, it's going to load this for us. So then we want to double click it, come over here, and we click there, then drop down to maps, and then click on none. Go to bitmap come over here, choose our tree, click over here again, go to the back material, drop it down to maps choose none bitmap and then let's scroll down and grab a hold of something we'll go for our concrete then come over here and choose assign material selection now we can come over here render render out and then as you can see our material right there now if we come over here and we whoops turn around go to the front of it render it out we got the material on that side as well so that is how you do it that simple okay wayne baron here on doggy y'all have a rocking time bye bye